What's up everyone? This is Erica with Hooking You Up and welcome back. I missed you guys. I've been out for about a month. Um, I have a craft show this Friday, so I've been taking that time to um, to uh, make inventory. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and do the super cute bag. So what you're going to need, I'm going to be using this Respun brand. And it is in the color Cider, Sunshine, and then Acai, which is like this periwinkle type color. You can use what, this is going to be my base color. You guys can use whatever base color you'd like. Um, and you can also use whatever super bulky six yarn that you would like. I just have really enjoyed this um, respun. What am I looking for? Oh, so any kind of bulky six, like Thick and Wool by Lion Brand. Well, that's what this is, but you guys get the gist. Any Thick and Quick will work, bulky six. You're going to need a tapestry needle. It's, I always say this is optional, but when I say I'm using it, I always suggest just getting one. They're super cheap. They're like a dollar for a three pack, and they come in handy with sewing the edges. And then... I'm using a size 6.5 millimeter hook and yeah so let's go ahead and get started we're gonna go ahead and start with the brown and start by making a magic ring and if you're new to my channel this is why I'm breaking down the sunflower petals if you have been subscribed to my channel for a while then you guys should be masters at doing the sunflower granny squares so we're going to chain one and now we're going to make 12 double crochet in the center hole. I will also have the written pattern out very soon. Um, I'll have my Etsy link in my description box so you guys can go check out uh, my patterns. I have majority of my patterns available in my shop and they're all uh, just about two dollars so very affordable and they're beginner friendly because I really break down each um, like how to do a magic ring how to do the petals you know yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two I really break it down for beginners so that way it's an even playing field for anyone who wants to uh, buy my patterns and um, be able to make these patterns as well. So Once you have your 12 petals, you're gonna pull that tail tight that'll close the center and Don't worry if it's not super perfect because when we go to weave in the ends, we'll be able to um, Make it even smaller. So you're going to slip stitch on the top of that first double crochet chain one and then cut off a short tail okay you're going to chain one yarn over insert in that same space pulling the working yarn up yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two Yarn over, insert in that same space again, pulling the working yarn up. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three stitches. Chain one. Now we're going to yarn over and insert on the top of the next double crochet, pulling the working yarn up. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert in the same space, pull working yarn up, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, pull up, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all four stitches. Chain one. It's probably gonna bother some people that this first petal is always different. You really could uh, yarn over and insert again 
and then pull through once you have four stitches on your hook. For some reason, I do it, for some reason I don't, but because I already told you guys to uh, pull through all three stitches, just leave it that way. But if you do another stitch, it really doesn't matter. So we're going to mimic this second petal all the way through until we have 12 petals total. So we're going to yarn over, insert that same stitch, pull the work. So we're going to yarn over, insert in the top of the next double crochet, pull the working yarn up, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert, pull working yarn up, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, now you have three stitches on your hook. One more time, yarn over, insert, pull working yarn up, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all four. Continue in the round until you have 12 petals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, we're going to make sure you chain one after that last petal and then you're going to slip stitch on the top of that first petal to close the round. Chain one, you're going to clip a small tail. Let's go ahead and bring in our base color. We're going to start by making a slip knot. And we're going to start in the same area where we left off. So in between, and we're working in between the petals in these spaces. So insert your hook under that chain one stitch, pull the slip knot through, chain one. Again, I like to tie the tail and the working yarn together. Chain two. And you're going to make two more double crochet in that same space one two chain two and we're working our first corner so we're going to do three double crochet in the same space chain one and we have our first corner completed in between the next two petals, we're going to do two double crochet. Chain one. And don't forget to chain one between each cluster that you do, except for the corners, which will consist of two. Okay. Yarn over, insert, make two double crochet in the make two double crochet between the next two petals. Chain one. And now we're working our second corner. So we'll do three double crochet. Two, three, chain two, three more double crochet in that same space. Chain one. Now we're going to make two, or yeah, two double crochet in between the next two petals. We're working our second side. Chain one, two more in between the next two petals. Chain one, now we're working our third corner. So we'll work three double crochet. Chain two, three more double crochet in that same space. Chain one, 
Now we're working our third side, so we'll do two clusters of two double crochet in between the next two petals. Two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. chain one. Now we're working our last corner. So three double crochet in between the next two petals. <coughs> Excuse me. Chain two. Three double crochet in that same space. Chain one. Now in, the, in between the next two spaces, we're going to do two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet to close the round. Chain one. And now you're going to slip stitch on the top of that first double crochet, slip stitch through the second, and then slip stitch through that first chain one space. Chain one and clip a length detail enough to sew, pull through. So you can sew the ends last or whatever. So we have our first square done. So you want a total, you want to do 11 more squares, repeat from the brown to your color of choice until you have 12, uh, 12 squares total, okay? So I'll meet you guys at the end. Okay, so I've already done the next part. I sewed all my ends. Oh, I forgot this one. Um, okay. Let me go ahead and do this real quick. Okay, so now we're going to connect four squares um, to make one big square. So you should have three big squares. I've already completed two, that way I can show you guys how I do them. So this is where your fancy tapestry needle comes to play. Okay, let me bring the camera closer. So you're going to be sewing these sides and these sides okay you can start whichever petal you'd like so I'm just going to show you guys one side and then you can just mimic for all your sides so I'm going to attach my one of my um, squares to my tapestry needle and then I'm just going to make sure it all lines up so each cluster space lines up so because I'm starting where basically where this uh, second chain one space is I'm going to find that second chain one space on this side then just go not going through two loops but going under one loop and then finally that other chain one space here, pull through, same thing. Make sure they line up well. If you hear snoring, that's my dog. He's he's maybe like five feet away from me. You'll end for that second 
chain one up. Okay, and then you're just going to carefully, not super tight, but just pull to, to close it. Or, yeah, close that gap, just like that. Okay. And now if the tail is long enough, you can continue. Okay, so once I sew this end, then I'll just have my last side and I'll sew this side and this side. So once you have your 12 squares all sewn into three pieces, now we do the fun part. So we're going to fold each one corner to corner, just like that. making sure that the insides are all facing each other. Okay, so now we'll put the pieces just like this. So this is what it will look like. Now, um, if you have to attach a longer uh, I try to use these loose ends if they're long enough to do each side but you're going to sew from this corner to the middle and then this corner to the middle and then you're going to flip the other way and you're going to sew these same sides on the other side okay so let's go ahead and do that when you're done it'll look just like this And now you can turn it inside out and then just stick all of these uh, loose ends through the inside and sew them all on the inside. So I'm going to do that really quick. Now we're going to make the strap, so we're going to make a slip knot with our base color and make a chain of 91. Once you've made your chain of 91, you're going to make a double crochet in that second chain from the hook. Make a double crochet in the next stitch. And make a double crochet in every stitch until you end up at the end. Once you've completed that to the end, you're going to chain two and flip your work. Now we're working the opposite side. Again, you're going to skip that first stitch and double crochet in the second space from the hook. Double crochet in the next space and double crochet in every space to the end. It can be easy to miss this last one, but just remember to put a double crochet there. Okay, now you're going to chain two, or chain one, excuse me. Flip your work again, and this will be the last round. Skip that first stitch and single crochet in the second stitch. Then you're going to single crochet in each stitch making sure your tension is good so it keeps it nice and straight on that side. It can also be hard to miss this last small space too, so don't forget that one. Otherwise your corner won't be straight. Chain one, one, two, and cut a lengthy tail. It doesn't have to be super long, but Okay, so now the very last part. We are going to sew the strap on. So we are going to
yeah we're going to be starting we're going to sew in these five spaces here or six spaces one two three four five six so we're going to start by going through these two just like that and then these two And then middle, middle again, And there you have it. And then you can just tie it. Just like that. Okay, and now you're going to repeat that on the other side. Make sure that your strap is nice and straight before you attach the other side. All right, you guys, so we finally finished. Super cute, this is so cute. I wish I'd done this pattern sooner and I wish I had a million more. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning into this video and I'll see you in the next. Peace.